going on guys welcome back to Swirly Games today's video is going to be all about where to begin in Diamond Dynasty that question is very hard to answer honestly because it's it depends on what you like doing but I'm I'm going to approach this from what I like to do and what I think is the best for newer players and also just like where to g gather all your free stuff basically and then go from there on how you want to like progress your team essentially from there so before we get started please just like and subscribe I'm Getting back into the groove of MLB The Show, this is a only MLB The Show YouTube channel now. It used to be MLB Plus and Let's Plays. Split that out over onto Swirly Plays. Go follow me over there, uh, or go subscribe to me over there, rather, my other YouTube channel. And let's get into what you should do starting your career in MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty. So the game starts off by forcing you to do some tutorial missions, which I've already done in my opening thoughts video, because it, again, it forces you right into it. Where you get to play a moment where it's like you're in the bottom of the ninth, you got to win the game. Top of the ninth, you got to close it out. Do your first collection. Open your first pack. Like, stuff like that. So they force you to do that to show you basically like how things work. Uh, they also direct you to the first inning program, I believe, to show you what stuff you can do there. After that, the first thing I do is I just open my packs. My free packs I got with the game. It was 10 standards, some gold choice packs, a diamond choice pack, and my two 42 card packs. Which, as you can see on the screen right there, I took Pedro. Since he's a new legend, I wanted to use him. And Ken Griffey Jr. is my favorite card in the game. I I wanted to pick Hanker, and I really did. But I, I gotta go with the kid. I can't not pick Griffey. That's just the way it goes. Also, while you're in there with your packs, you may not be buying some packs, but that 85 Alberto Clemente, let's take a look at him. He will be free in the show shop for everybody to grab. Go grab him. He's a free 85. You can't sell him or anything, but hey, for an opening day lineup, it's awesome having a diamond in there. And... It's not the best card, but hey, diamond fielding, if you have them in right field, decent contact. There are definitely worse cards to have in your lineup to start the year off. So from here, it kind of depends on what type of player are you. Are you dedicated to getting the collections done? If so, I guess start putting money in the game and start buying cards, because that's kind of how you're going to have to do it. Unless you're a master at flipping and you get really lucky with your intro uh, packs, you get like a big diamond to get like a stub balance to start off the season or something. Flipping is not my cup of tea like i could not begin to tell you how good way to do it you just have to stare at the market all day i don't like actually playing the game so i don't want to do that um if you head to collections with which the um starting program will take you to a lot of real quick easy things that with your packs you might end up getting enough to complete some of these things like you know collect a bat skin which i'm going to do right now because i get the jackie robinson it's free i can't do anything else with it there's no point to not come in and collect that you also get a pack and these all go towards the Mickey Mantle program, which I will be getting to in a second. So a lot of these are very quick. Like if you put, if you buy any amount of packs or open amount, like any amount of packs, you're probably going to get enough cards to be able to do these, especially with your, like your common throwaways for the most part. Get these starter collections done as soon as you can. I think that's a big, like you're not going to get like thousands and thousands of stubs, like 10,000 or anything, but you might get a few thousand for sure out of doing these. And you're going to get these just by getting cards in the game. Like, look, okay, these are worth like nothing on the market. Do I have five? Boom. That's what, 400 subs? 400 subs and Mickey Mantle process. So definitely, or progress, definitely try to get these done as soon as you can just to get more subs and more money to work with. All right, so now you've opened your packs you've got, you've done some of the starter collections, you've kind of poked around, seen when you got to work with. Now it's time to actually play the game. And where do you start with playing? Some people love playing online. You can go straight into Battle Royale, which I love Battle Royale too. You don't need a good team to play Battle Royale. Uh, they've also made some really nice changes to it this year, which we can take a look at now. So Battle Royale, oh, okay, here it is. I was gonna say, where is it? I don't wanna like get into a team already. This Battle Royale program is, is new. So before you go 12 and 0, you get one of those flawless packs, which are exclusive rewards you can only get by going 12 and 0. Now they're doing like season. So this is only lasts for 14 days, which is, so you have to do these pretty quick actually, but it's a nice alternative. So these BR program packs, have cards you also can only get in where they're like past fan favorite br cards like logan morrison's people love having logan morrison in br it's awesome and there's missions for completing tasks with those cards i believe yeah home run with jake lamb extra base hits with trey mancini like they've got stuff to give you the points to get to the end of this and if you win enough games at 45 you can get this jorge soler 2019 second half jorge soler 121 powers holy shit i hadn't even looked at that yet but you can also get the program reward that way too which is nice so 
it requires you still have to be good enough at the game to win a lot of games and get your 50 points, but you don't have to go 12 and 0 in BR, which is awesome. And they did the exact same thing in Ranked Seasons, which is the other mode you can play as well online. So Ranked Seasons is where you take your best actual team and put this online ranked play. It's like every old multiplayer has it. It's essentially what that is. Ooh, the snake bat's going to start the season. And if you can, you get a player rating, you win, you go up, you lose, you go down. And if you get to World Series, which is 900, I believe, you can tell I've never been there because I don't even know exactly what the number is. I'm pretty sure it's 900, though. You could pick one of those rewards. And they did the exact same thing with the program in this one where you might not be able to go win enough in a row or consistently enough to get to 900. But if you win 40 games and ranked, you will get to pick one of these cards too. So if you want to jump straight into online, this is this is where you're going to want to go, ranked or battle royale. But maybe you're thinking, I need better cards to get into ranked. Where can I go and get some quick, easy cards? Well, there's tons of stuff you can do in single player that will reward you cards. So let's hop in here. So play versus CPU is just, you could just play against the computer, but there's a lot of programs that have missions in them that you need to play against the computer and play versus CPU, play against the Orioles on rookie if you want and stack up at your lineup, try to get as many home runs and whatever it is you might need. You can play against any MLB team on any difficulty and just to your heart's content. You'll get XP for it, all that good stuff. You can just play against who you want to play. Moments were introduced two years ago, I believe, and they are, well, there's Tops Now ones right off the bat. I didn't even think about that. But Moments will also be able to give you plenty of cool um, rewards here as well. So you've got your Welcome mo welcome to Moments, where there's all these real quick, easy ones, but most likely get some stubs here. A lot of packs sometimes. The Tops Now ones will give you packs that will just directly have cards in them from opening weekend, which is good to see. So I, I highly recommend keeping up with the moments. It's just gonna give you stubs, it's gonna give you these packs. If you don't care about collecting all the tops now, which you should, because they're gonna be go they're going to go towards the lightning card at the end of April. So every month they do a player program where they celebrate the best players in baseball from that calendar month. So April, right now, like Byron Buxton, if you've been following baseball, Byron Buxton, Ronald Acuna Jr., they've been tearing the baseball world apart right now. They're just smashing home runs left and right. When it comes to lightning time, they're going to get really good cards and you're going to have to have collected these tops now cards to get them. And they've changed them from past years. You don't need to put the, you, you couldn't get them without buying them with stubs and stuff before. But now if you just play these moments, you can get these cards. And at the beginning of the year, silvers and golds, they might actually play in your lineup. So they're not just throwaway cards for collections. They're actually usable cards. And I highly recommend doing these as well. Daily moments are a new feature, which I honestly don't even really necessarily know how much they work right now. So expires on May 1st. Welcome to daily moments. Play today's moments to earn progress in the daily moments program. Play every day for rewards and loot. Look out for days that give double progress. Okay. So yeah, just there's going to be a different one of these every single day. So if you're playing all the time, make sure you stop in. Let's see what today's is. On rookie with Jackie Robinson, you have to get one hit and not strike out and you'll get 100 uh stubs and 100 xp and progress towards the daily moments program which is also new and within that program you will unlock the bronze giambi which opens up evolution programs so down here jason giambi he has some moments in here so i don't have the jason giambi from the daily moments program yet to be able to do these but once you get them it's basically you take a, a low level version of a card so in this case i think it's bronze rookie jason giambi you progress it through rewards and at the end of it the reward is a much better like a diamond version of jason giambi so those are also great free diamonds early on in the year you want to put in the work to get those especially for no money spent and that's the best part is doing all these give you xp give you stubs that just feed into more and more like you can hoard stubs last year i had over a million stubs and i don't play the market i don't do anything crazy i didn't even really play a ton in the last four or five months of the game it's looking like this year is going to be the exact same, which is nice. Team Affinity Moments. They had these last year. So I'm hoping there's just one for each team. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So these will reward you program star or program points, I guess they're calling them, within each Team Affinity. These also get like 350 stubs a pop. Like these will give you a lot and they're usually really quick and easy. Like Anthony Santander on veteran, two hits, including an extra base hit in the game. Not too bad. Each one, 350 stubs plus points towards that program. So that's 700, 1400, 1750. Oh, I thought that was a reward towards it. But each one of these gives you 1750 stubs. I thought that was like a bonus for doing all of them. They, some, some moment packages, I guess you can call it, do that where you get stubs and XP and stuff for each individual one, but then they'll have an ultimate reward for doing all of them. So, but that's a lot. I mean, six times 1750, what is that? 
That's like over 10,000 subs, I'm pretty sure, if you do all these, which is huge at the beginning of the year. That's that's a couple gold players. That's a, that's a lot. You can do a lot with 10,000 subs. So I would recommend checking these out as well. Showdown. This is new. There should be a nice starter showdown. Yeah, there's a starter showdown that'll show you how to play this game. It's you draft a team. You do many moments and like each moment along the way, you get a new reward to add to your team. So you're slowly building your team to be stronger and stronger and stronger. And then there's boss encounters where you go up against a certain pitcher, you're down by X amount of runs and you have say 20 outs. And the in it's no innings, you just have 20 outs. So like if you get three outs, everybody stays on the bases and you just have to get beat the score you have to beat before you run out of outs, essentially. It's very, very fun. It can be very frustrating because most of the time it's like if you fail against a boss, your run is wiped out. It's like a roguelike almost. It all counted for nothing essentially except the small XP bonuses you might get along the way. But Starter Showdown is going to be great. It's going to be super easy. Last year it was. You got a ton of diamond cards. They show you how the mode works. And you're going to get that 80 rookie Shane Bieber, which as an Indians fan, very excited. I just realized I'm completely blocking that card. You guys can't even see it. This 80 gold... <laughs> Uh, Shane Bieber there will be the reward. That'll be great for an opening day lineup as well. There should be packs, stubs, XP, all sorts of stuff. You get XP everywhere in the game. So I'm going to stop saying XP is included. Most places you get stubs as well. Um, and then there's that first season, Team Affinity. Don't know how that's going to work, but it's going to... I don't know if it's one for the whole thing and you pick which one it's going to go into, but there's going to be a Team Affinity showdown that you could put towards a Team Affinity of your choice, it appears, if there's only one of them. And then there's also one for the first inning program. That'll help you get a big jump start on toward working towards your bosses. Conquest. This is the mode I play the most. Once I've like done all my moments, I'm caught up on like current content of that week. I spend a lot of time in Conquest. Mostly because it's quicker games to play against the CPU. Get some decent rewards. Like there's the big Conquest board. Oh god. To Conquest, a fan favorite single player mode in Diamond I guess we're watching this, huh? Your goal is to dominate the map by taking over all territories by playing short three-inning games against the CPU. They'll explain it better than I could. Games, you gain control over the map. Maps come in all shapes and sizes with rewards, XP, exclusive items, and hidden treasure. Oh. It's a great way to earn packs with player items to build a strong lineup. I didn't know they had ones for Team Affinity. The look of your Diamond Dynasty squad as you find bat skins and other unlockable items. To start, Ooh. try playing one of the smaller maps. As you get more familiar with the mode, take on the larger maps. If you're wondering how do I win or finish a conquest map, really important, press triangle to see your goals. Complete all of these by mastering the four phases of conquest. Attack, steal, reinforce, and move. Yeah, that's better than anything I could have explained. So there's all these small ones that are real quick and easy. You'll get some good stubs, some good XP, some bat skins. Usually there's a card. This first inning diamond. That looks nice. Oh, they expire? That's weird. Normally, like, you could do these whenever you wanted before. That's kind of unfortunate, because if you miss out on some of this stuff, you apparently can't ever go back. The big beefy one, though, the original conquest, is you conquer the United States. There are three ways to attack. The first... That's fine. This one is a lot. It is a lot. But it's the entire Major League Baseball. This will take a lot of time. You'll get some really good rewards in this. Stealing fans, you know, Walter Johnson, some XP, some stubs, some packs. And if you complete all of it, you get 89 Albert Pujols, which is a really good card. He's been in the game for a while, This, especially this exact version. So it's another free diamond you can grind for and play through the CPU. You'll get credit for all those missions for other programs all over the place. A lot of the stuff folds in where you could be doing multiple things at once. And it's nice just to take stock of everything you're interested in doing, see what you have to do, and see if you can like double up on progress. Like, oh, I need extra base hits with this thing, but I need Blue Jays innings for this other thing. Like, put a bunch of Blue Jays in your lineup. If you hit an extra base hit with a Blue Jays player, it's going to count for both. You can do stuff like that just to make it a little quicker and easier on you. So Mickey Mantle. So you have all these missions down here where you're going to try to fill up this bar to get to the end, where if you have 42 of those points you unlock Mickey Mantle, an 80 overall Mickey Mantle to be in your team. With, like I said, stubs, packs, cards, all, all that good stuff. Icons, banners throughout the way. So we've got three so far, which means I've got that. Uh, I unlocked that bat skin, that's cool. So there's missions down here, where you see the rewards there. So three hits with any player in Diamond Dynasty. Five strikeouts with any player in Diamond Dynasty. One extra base hit with any player. Talia wins. So you can get all, all of these done in one game if you're lucky enough. And that'll be five... 12? 
12 points towards that thing, which is nice. You also have the individual moments, which we saw in there, the opening ones. All these different, they're usually really easy ones with like really good players just to give you a nice feel of what type of moments are going to be in the game. I like doing all these stuff that I'm talking about before I really start worrying about building a team. Because you just get so many stubs, so many packs, all this extra stuff that you like get your free things and see what I like see knowing what I've got in my hand essentially before I start targeting upgrades at certain places because it, it never fails. Like maybe you want this one diamond player, you spend some stubs, maybe you reach a little bit, spend an extra 5,000, you didn't have to, and then you end up pulling in a pack a card that's even better than that. And you end up wanting to sell that other guy, but you end up selling him at a loss and you end up losing out on it for something that you could have had in your inventory or potential to go and get the whole time. Like it's just something like that. But that's the beauty of this game is you can do so many different things and it all counts towards progress. Like you just do whatever, play it however you want and it's going to work out for you. You can also do your road to the show stuff and franchise. You don't even have to play Diamond Dynasty because it's XP based. You play anywhere in MLB the show, you get XP. XP is the, the currency for the best rewards in this game. It's perfect. So you could play a bunch of franchises and hop into Diamond Dynasty and be like, oh wow, I unlocked like 10 tiers of rewards. I didn't even know I did because you were playing a uh, franchise. You got a bunch of XP doing it that way. This time of year is so great because there's almost never as much stuff to do as right away. There's tons of stuff. Every card means something. I'm super excited. I just, oh my God, I love this game. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for me in this one. That's That was a lot. But those are your options of what I think you should do first. Maybe not necessarily in that order, but like I said, all those quick, easy starter stuff. Knock those out, collect all your rewards, open all your packs, see what you've got from there, and start building up your team, work towards those collections, and just have fun. Like, this is... Everyone's excited about the game. No one knows if the online play's broken yet and that could ruin the community and stuff like that. We're all excited. We're all in the same place. Oh, it's good to be back, MLB. I'm hyped. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments, what, are, what do you love starting with in your MLB The Show journey every year? What do you start with? You go straight into BR, you go to try to be the first person to hit World Series, stuff like, what are you trying to do when you play with MLB opening week, opening month, stuff like that? Please sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Sorley Games. Follow me on Twitch at Sorley Streams. I'll be streaming some It Takes Two with my fiance Tiff. Some other games or streaming some MLB The Show now that the game's out. Also, subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Swirly Plays, where I post those vlog, uh, VODs of our Let's Plays on Twitch, along with other Let's Plays I've been doing. I'm playing through Miles Morales, some Spider-Man right now. Check that stuff out. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, listen to my dad, and I'll see you in the next video.